Do you have a wardrobe full of amazing clothes but struggle to find flattering outfit combinations or even individual pieces that make you feel confident, sexy, and ready to take on your day? Well, if this is the case, you are not alone because as women, we are all so diverse because of so many different shapes and sizes, so it's no surprise that not all clothing is going to flatter all body types the same. As a certified image consultant, I know that everybody requires a different combination of prints, colors, fabrics, and cuts to best flatter their body type. A study of more than 6,000 women conducted at North Carolina State University in 2005 revealed that more than 46% of women were banana shaped, just over 20% were pear shaped, just under 14% were apple shaped, 12% were an inverted triangle, and only 8% were hourglass shaped. So which one are you? Hey guys, if you don't already know me, I'm Bella, an image consultant and an Italian fashion enthusiast, and welcome to my channel, Concept 3, where I help you level up your wardrobe, yourself, and your lifestyle. In today's video, I'm going to teach you guys how to determine your body shape using three simple measurements. And if this sounds like something that you guys are interested in, please keep watching because I promise it is going to be so useful in helping you invest in a long-term wardrobe that makes you feel confident, sexy, and ready for whatever life throws at you. So before I tell you guys how to determine your body shape using measurements to each specific body type, I'm going to give you a general explanation on how to take your measurements so you guys can correctly identify your body type. And the way to do this is to get a tape measure. You're going to want to get a tape measure that is meant for measuring your body. So you're going to want to have the tape measure that is um, kind of made out of material that you can wrap around your body. So once you have your tape measure, you're going to want to make sure that you are wearing clothes that are very, very tight or even just wearing a pair of underwear and a sports bra, something that is not going to add any extra weight or dimension or that is going to mess up, that is going to mess up when you measure your body. So for the bust, you're going to measure this, the circumference around your breast area over your chest and over the fullest part of the breast. And you have to make sure that you are wearing a properly fitted bra and something that doesn't have too much padding because that can throw off the measurements. Next, you want to measure your waist size and your waist is the smallest circumference around the natural waist just above the belly button. So your waist is not at the belly button, your waist is above the belly, belly button and it is where the indentation in your side is going to be most pronounced. Next, you want to take your hip size and to measure your hip size, you get the largest circumference measured around the hips over the largest part of the buttocks. So it's going to be down a little bit further than what you would think. You want to measure over the part of your buttocks that sticks out the most. Now that you guys now know how to take your measurements properly, you will be well equipped and ready for the next section of the video where I explain the characteristics of each body type and how to use your measurements to figure out whether you have it or not. So stay tuned because next I'm going to go into how to determine your body shape with the five different body shapes that exist. So the first body type you're going to talk about is the inverted triangle and you might recognize this body type on supermodels such as Naomi Campbell or Cindy Crawford and this body shape is really characterized by having a triangular like shape, like an inverted triangle. Basically your shoulders are going to be more pronounced, they're going to be a little bit more broad and it's, your shoulders are going to be the widest part of your body. A lot of people with this body type tend to have really beautiful long legs and nice defined shoulders and sometimes they have a bigger bust and sometimes they have a smaller bust. So if this body shape sounds like you, you are probably an inverted triangle. And the way to really understand this through measurements is to measure your shoulders, then measure your waist, then measure your hips. And if your shoulders and bust is the widest part of your body and your, your waist and your hips are the smallest part of your body, then you are likely an inverted triangle. 
The next body shape we are going to go over is the rectangle or the banana. And, and the rectangle is basically characterized by having equal measurements up and down the body and exactly how it sounds is what it is. This person has does not have a well-defined waist and they are not particularly curvy or busty or anything like that. They tend to be have a very straight figure that goes up and down and, and the way that we figure this out using measurements is to measure your shoulders, your bust, your waist, and your hips and if everything is kind of equal in size then it's likely that you are a rectangle body shape. The next body shape is very common among women and this is the pear body shape and it is characterized by having a well-defined waist, wider hips, and a bigger rear end and this body shape is exactly what it sounds like it kind of looks like a pear because the upper half is going to be more small and more on the petite side you're not going to carry a lot of the weight on your upper half when you gain weight or if you are a little bit bigger all your weight is going to be on the bottom half of your body from your hips down so in my opinion this body shape is pretty easy to spot and to determine there's not much mystery about it so you have this body type if your hip measurements are the widest measurement that you have and if your hips are wider than your shoulders the next body type is one of the most sought after body types especially in popular media today and that is the hourglass body shape and it's exactly what it looks like so an hourglass body shape is defined by having a small waist, wide hips, and broader shoulders. So basically the widest part of your body is going to be your hips and your shoulders and they are going to be equal and the smallest part of your body is going to be your waist. Like with a pair, an hourglass is also pretty easy to see and to determine because when you take your measurement, if the smallest part of your body is your waist, then it's likely that you are a hourglass figure. And hourglass figures tend to have a little bit bigger of a bust and have a bigger behind and wider hips. So that's how you can really tell if you have this body type. So when you take your measurements, you're going to measure your bust, you're going to measure your waist, and you're going to measure your hips. And basically, if your bust measurement is equal to your hips and your waist measurement is smaller than both your bust and your hip measurements, you are going to be an hourglass figure. The apple body shape is characterized by having a midsection and a bust that is bigger than your hip. So basically, the widest part of your body is going to be around the torso area and you guys tend to have a bigger bust, you guys tend to be a little bit more curvy, and you guys tend to have a more of a full figure. And the way to figure out if you have this body shape is to take your bust, your waist, and your hip measurements, and if your waist measurements and your bust measurements are bigger than your hips, then you are going to be a pair. Apple, my apple ladies, this is a beautiful body shape, and you know, taking your measurements, you can really find out whether this is a body shape you have or not. Okay guys, we have reached the end of my video on how to determine your body type using measurements, and I really hope this was useful and straight to the point for you guys, because I know it can be so confusing in figuring out which body type you have. So if this was useful and you liked it, go ahead and click that like button. It really helped me and with the algorithm and it would also help other people in figuring out which body type they have. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, if you still don't know which body type you are and you want to go ahead and drop your measurements below. And most importantly, don't forget to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I make videos twice a week and I'd love to have you guys join the community community because we are a group of like-minded people on a mission to level up. So yeah, I'd really love to have you join the family. And this being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and have an amazing day where Wherever you are in this world and as always stay safe stay smart and stay leveled up I will see you in my next video bye